with me is Anna Hartby. I'm Cindy Landry and I'm excited this morning because I have the opportunity to interview for the first time ever a 12 year old artist who's been painting since she was five years old. We have about seven pictures that we're going to be showing you and we don't necessarily have them all directly age limit appropriate but we're going to explain as we show the picture Emma is going to tell us all about it. But first of all, I want to know something about you, Miss Emma. First of all, why do you paint? Um, I like the feeling like whenever I finish a painting, it's just so exciting and I get to like show it off to all my friends and family. And you get good responses? Yes. Yes? Do you always sketch? Um, uh, yes, I start off sketching. Okay. Now, before we show, okay, let's just, well, I'm going to ask a couple more questions before we talk about this picture that's on the screen. Okay, first of all, what school do you attend? I go to Boyette Junior High in Slidell, Louisiana. Okay, we got you in the right town now. And you're 12 years old. And also, too, are you, uh, what grade? I'm going into seventh grade. Seventh grade, are you excited to be here today? Yeah. Great, I hope you're gonna share with all your friends. <laughs> also, too, I think we're on Facebook Live. So anybody that has your, your email or your mom's email is gonna be able to watch this. And then we're going to have it on AOC here, and then we're going to have it on YouTube. So a lot of people are going to find out who you are from the town of Slidell, Louisiana. Now, let's go ahead so we can get all these pictures in. And number one, what is that picture and what do you call it? It's up there um, in the background. I call that picture my flying dog. And I chose to paint that picture because I thought it would be a challenge with all the detail in it. and. That would be cool. And it looks to real. What I could do. Did you yeah. have a certain dog in mind? Um, no. Just what is? I mean, he kind of looks like a hound dog of some kind, right? Yeah. He's cute, and he does look like he's flying too. <laughs> okay, so how old were you, Emma, when you painted this picture? Um, I was 11. I didn't paint that too long ago. Okay, so not too long ago, because you're only 12. Yeah, that's true. Okay. All right, so that's very bright. And then let's go ahead to the next picture because I have a lot of other stuff we want to talk about. And if anybody's interested, we'll be showing the emails up there and, of course, her name. Now, this picture, who is this and what um, inspired you? This is the Mona Lisa. I painted this one really long ago. I was probably about five years old whenever I did this. Five years old. That does not look like my five-year-old's painting for <laughs> sure. So... When did you realize, did you ever, or do you realize that you have a gift that not everybody has? Well, this is probably the first painting that, like, someone told me, oh, that's really good, like, for your age. And that's when I started working more into art. Okay, and so there's the first time at five years old. Okay, let's go ahead to the next picture. Now, how are you, what is this? Um, it's... Just a charcoal drawing done. It's a little forest kind of. Okay, so forest, how old were you there? Um, probably around seven, year old, seven years old. So you're starting to create and learn different techniques in art? Yeah. Where are you getting your ideas? Um, well, like we were assigned certain paintings or drawings to do in school art class. Okay, I was going to ask you that if, you're, if you have art cl uh, classes or school offers art classes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how, when did you start taking art classes in school? Um, well, we probably started doing that around kindergarten. And um, at my last school that I was at, we didn't have an art program. And so I wasn't able to do art classes there. So I started going to a art class out of school. Okay. And some of those art classes were where local or you had to go out of town? Um, local. Local? All right. Well, at least you didn't stay idle. You, you had the desire to keep on learning. Okay, well, that's totally different. All right, next sketch. This is amazing. Even my publisher of my books thought it was, too. <laughs> what? When did you paint this picture? Um, this was also one that I didn't paint too long ago. I painted it in the um, art classes out of school. Okay, why? Why did you paint this picture and what well, is it? I was looking for ideas and then I saw this horse eye and I thought um, that could be a challenge and it could be interesting. And it's very interesting and I can only imagine what you would do with the rest of the horse. 
Yeah. You know, but what it caught my attention was the growth. It doesn't look like that three-year-old, that five-year-old, yeah. or that seven-year-old. So that's pretty well an update on what you can do. Me, I was interested in the cartoons. I like the childlike. The kid in me wants to stay young. So I was interested, but when your mom sent the pictures for us to look at, and this came up, it was like, okay, you can do a little bit of everything. Of course, different people like different styles. Yeah. I like childlike. And so my heart's desire is one day find somebody who will publish books for, uh, with illustrators like you, young people illustrating for young people's books. So that's why I'm so excited to to receive the uh, confirmation, thanks to your grandfather telling your mother that, uh, that uh, maybe I could get you to come in and talk. These days, being the president of the Writers Guild of Acadiana, I would also like to get you to come down and maybe speak about that too. You know, not everybody who, well, usually everybody who has artwork will know the story behind it, so there's always a good story to tell. So, would that be one of the things you might be interested in, talking about why you like art and encourage other kids? Sure. Okay, you're always open for that. That's good, that's good news. Okay, so let's go ahead, back to the horse. Did you paint the rest of the horse? Uh, no. You never did? Okay. Did you make a good grade? Uh, yeah. Did you win a contest with it? No. Did you enter? No. You might need to consider that later. Now, this is one of my favorites, and uh, this is, what do you call this? Um, Size uh, of the giraffe. Well, I like to call it the silhouette giraffe, because it's almost as if the giraffe is a silhouette. I remember seeing two giraffes. Oh yeah, that's another painting I did. Okay, let's giraffes. tell them about the other two also because it's a lot like this one. Why did you paint the other two? Well, I liked like the, so there's two giraffes. It was like a baby giraffe and a mama giraffe. And I liked the connection that the two giraffes had. Like, it was like they were looking into each other's eyes. Hey, he found it. Did we <laughs> choose that one? Look at that. See what he can do in there? Miracles happen. We actually have those two giraffes on there, people. Isn't that amazing? Did you see that one, uh, Mr. Publisher? Nope. I didn't think so. Good. Thank you very much. That is beautiful. When did you paint that? Um, probably about a year and a half ago. Did you have a class to paint that, or that was your own? That was probably the second painting that I did in my out-of-school art classes. Did you enter a contest? <laughs> no. Do they have contests over there? Um, yes, they do have a contest. Why not enter? You didn't think you were good enough? No, it's not that. It's just I don't really like the competition. Well, that's being honest. Why not? Why not? There's always, everybody's awesome in their own way. You just don't, you just like doing your own thing? Yeah. Why? <laughs> I'm going to ask all these kid questions. Why? Um, because I feel like I don't have, like, as many boundaries. I can do what I want, like, with the other giraffe, like, I didn't have to paint the normal colors of a giraffe. I could do my giraffe in black and white. This young lady has the right attitude. I like it. I like it. Well, that's letting me know a little bit more like you. You are your original self. Yes. You don't stick to it? Yeah. You're not letting anybody change you? No. That's good, because that's good things to know, especially if someone wants to change your idea. And I always let them know if you agree or you don't agree. Okay, that's amazing, y'all guys. Have y'all seen? This is amazing, these two. I thought it was good enough to talk about it. I didn't realize he was going to be able to pull it up. That's no accident. That's amazing. Okay, let me not get carried away. When I believe in someone, I believe in someone. And Emma, I believe that you have a career in the future. Who knows? You may be designing cards, greeting cards. You may be illustrating books for your age or you may be illustrating books for the younger group. I'm into catching the three-year-olds and the four-year-olds, and then later on, you know, other stories can be made. So, what are some of the dreams you have with uh, being an artist? What's your idea of an artist? Um, well, I was hoping that maybe someday I could open up an art gallery in New Orleans. Well, that's a big dream, and I believe <laughs> big dreams can come true. You know, it's funny that you just said that. Because next week, I have a young lady who is a lot older than you, but not as old as me, that's opening her first showing next 
uh, coming up and I'm doing her an interview, we're gonna plug her on Facebook, of course, here on AOC. And so she's excited, she never gave up. She's having her first showing too. Oh, wow. Takes a lot to get into New Orleans, so you can't just sit back and wish. Yeah. You gotta get out there, you gotta talk to people, you gotta have dads and grandfathers like you do. They don't get out there and tell people all stuff. This is amazing, so you did that about a year ago? Yeah. A year ago, and you didn't use the traditional colors. Um, well, this one I did. It was the last draft that we showed. Okay, great. Awesome. See, it's different styles. You, do you have a certain style that you like to? Do you want to be classified into a certain art genre, so to speak? Well, I'm still experiencing with, like, different paintings and stuff to see which type of art I like. Well, it looks like you're also giving demonstrations. Okay, go to the next picture. I have a feeling we can show all the pictures. Okay, what is this picture and how old were you? Um, this one I recently did. This was probably my last painting, my latest painting that I've done. Um, this is a little husky dog and he's trying to catch a treat. Okay, yeah, that's exactly what it looks like too. So, if somebody approaches you and says, hey, would you be interested in drawing some pictures for a book that I have coming up? How would you respond to that? I would say absolutely. And would you want to work with the person who has ideas or would you want to be in control of your own idea or would you be glad to kind of work with a person? Um, maybe a little bit of both, like hear their ideas and maybe add on or just... That's a smart lady already. <laughs> I'm picking because my publisher's here. And he's not on camera, but I almost got him to come on camera. But we'll do that another time. Well, you have all, you are sure mature for 12 year mom. Good job, everybody. <laughs> wow, this is amazing, seriously. So, okay, so is that the last picture that we have posted? Ah, Emma. How old are you there? 2015. 2015. I'm not doing the math. How old so are you? I was probably. Um, okay, I was nine. Oh, okay. Oh, that's when you... Emma? Okay, you were nine years old, and this is who? Um, um that's a self-portrait. Of you? Yes. Okay, did you make yourself look happy? Um, well, I mean, I did my concentration face because I had a mirror in front of me, and I was drawing what I looked like, and that's my concentration face, so... Where'd you get that idea from school? Art yeah, class? it was in an art class. Okay. You got so many different styles up there. That's why, you know, just kind of showing some of what you can and what, where you come from. Okay, and uh, is that that last picture that we have posted up there, Kenneth? Yeah? yeah? Okay, okay. Now, let's talk about you. We know that you're an artist. Where are some of the places you'd like? Okay, New Orleans, a big art gallery. Okay, let's downsize it. You may take a while to get to that point. So, are you going to want to show any of your art anywhere local? Uh, yeah, probably. I might like work up to that. Maybe go to some small like, little street festivals and sell copies. Okay, I think in Lafayette we have a children's museum, and we have an art display. Have you checked out the Lafayette children's no. art display? Okay, grandfather, you need to check that out. And because sometimes they put displays on the sidewalk and they have the art wall, that would be amazing to get a young person in there. And that's where that lady's coming in Wednesday. That's where she started. She oh. finally got a spot. It's not easy to get a spot there. So if you can get a display in, in downtown Jefferson Street, has a lot of traffic. It's kind of like miniature New Orleans, okay? So you get a taste of what it would be like to be on the streets you know, with art and the displays and the vendors and things like that. And yes, so from there you can throw some of your artwork out there just to see how people respond. You never know who's walking those streets. Maybe a producer or maybe a publisher or a TV host or something like that. So, with that said, have you got anything planned in the near future? What you drawing next? Do you know? Um, no, I haven't had any ideas or sparks of inspiration. Yeah, but look at everything you've done. How many in the year last last year? You were 11? 
You painted out how many pages? It's a lot in different styles. Yeah. It's a lot, a lot of work. So, outside of being an artist, okay, let's jump forward. And uh, what kind of other things do you like to do? Um, well, I just joined the cross country group at my school. And, and so doing what? Rhyming. Okay, I thought so. I just want to know if cross country was what it used <laughs> to be old school. Okay, so you run track? Yes. Okay, well, that's great. So you've been running. Um, well, I'm just starting to get more into it. I mean, I occasionally go on like a run with my mom and stuff, but now I'm starting to like try and run every day. Okay, well, that sounds good. And what else are you interested in? Do you write? Um, well, my favorite subject in school is writing, and I mean... I knew there was an author in you somewhere. You could write one day something, your thoughts, and illustrate your own book. Yeah. Anything's possible for big dreamers, you know that. Yeah. Awesome. I'm excited. So I'm hoping that you will, uh, you will have the opportunity to illustrate a book. Um, I'm hoping that you will be who you are, say who you are to your own true self, and not let people change you. Because if they change you, then it's their story, not your story. It's their painting, not your painting. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, people have different uh, expertise in different things, but I've learned a lot through my publisher. I've learned a lot. I've learned what the difference is between the publisher and the author. And all of us authors think we just have the best of everything and nobody <laughs> can do better. But if you listen, you can learn from both sides. And sometimes you have to kind of, like you said, take into consideration and think about it. But you know, when the opportunity, opportunity knock, see, I just did what we were supposed to. Uh, it's kind of hard not to go through that door, that one time, yeah. right? So you are from Slidell, Louisiana. It's a Saturday. We're typing live Facebook. I think on your mom's Facebook page, yes. and so I'm sure a lot of people are going to be seeing it. When I get home, I'm going to be sharing it, and then I'm going to turn the copy that I have over to AOC where we sit right now, and then my graphic man is going to turn around, and he's going to put it on YouTube, and the version that's going to be put on YouTube has a lot more writing about who you are. So. It's amazing how YouTube catches people's attention. Believe me, mm -hmm. if you're doing something, I'm not just telling you this, to tell you this. The YouTube and AOC and any opportunity of social media, if you want to promote yourself, just simply put it out there. Hey, hey, this is my painting, you know, or uh, this is what I'm doing. Don't give a whole lot of details. And the reason I said that is that uh, I've had the opportunity to be doing this since 2010 free i don't charge i don't get paid and i don't pay you to come here either <laughs> but the amazing thing is emma is that being on tv a lot of people don't realize how expensive it is and if they do they can't usually invest that much money and i said that to say this is youtube is an opportunity and so is aoc that allows us who never would think our dreams would come true come true yeah. so with you being on the show today, every time your mom lets me know or you let me know what you're doing, I'm going to be posting this video and saying, hey guys, this young lady is here now if you're interested. You know, watch her video and she's going to be at this location. And if you're interested, check her out. And because of that, many times, several times, with previous guests that I've had on the show. Now, I'm doing this to tell you the truth and motivate you. you got to market yourself. You've got to believe in yourself, but you got to let other people know, okay, I'm going to sit there and everything's going to turn out good. No, you got to get out there and you got to work toward that. And YouTube has been a blessing to several of my guests that's been on here. Foodnet has contacted us. Hollywood has contacted us. And different people want to do different stories and get in touch with different people to spin on my show. And I just connect them and they do their thing. Wow. Right now, we have an author that's been contacted by someone in Hollywood that might take his book and make it into a movie. And I can say no more than that. And I'm proud to say I was part of it, though. <laughs> so, when you get big and famous, remember, AOC and Miss Sudi was the first one, your first interview, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so, later... When you have more pictures and you're more comfortable, which are very relaxed to me, 
and you want to do another show, we can actually come back and say, update, this is what you're doing. And usually I like to update at least every two years, unless you're doing something or something fantastic has happened. But if you end up winning a contest or entering a contest, I would like to know. Now, we have around four minutes left in the show. And already, can you believe that? <laughs> Is there anything you would like to say or thank people for that's been a part of your life that's helped you, whether it's teachers, family, or anything? Well, I don't think that I'd be able to be here without the help of my art teacher. Okay, what's her name? Uh, Miss Margie, that's what we call her. Miss Margie, you have created one of the good students, the nice students that I've been able to meet. Well, that's amazing. Teachers should be more appreciated. And I definitely appreciate for the teacher in areas of my life when my children were growing up. And so therefore, any teacher that can inspire somebody is a good thing. Yeah. Or a parent, or a grandparents, or anything like that. Well, as we're getting closer to the end of the show, okay, so today's Saturday. What are you doing after the show? Um, well, we're probably going to go swimming at our house. Wow. Well, that's a good way. And I think we're putting this on flash drive so you can have a party, invite people over, <laughs> yeah. and have a, a party, a, a review of this interview. What would you like to... Uh, what would you like to do if... I'm going to ask you one question now. I have no idea what the question was going to be until now. Okay. If you were asked to do a picture right now, what's the first thing that comes into your, your mind? Um, probably some kind of am, animal. Maybe a koala? They're so cute. Yeah. Yay! Okay, so you're going to stick to the traditional colors? Yes. Yes, yes. Well, they're giving me uh, messages getting closer in the show, so I want to go ahead and close down the show, but as the rolling credits come on, we can still keep talking. It doesn't matter. Everything's going to be good. Well, I want to thank you for coming on the show today, and I definitely want to thank your grandfather and your parents and, of course, your grandmother for being a part of this also and, and here to encourage you and also the publisher that is going to be talking to you later on. And I thank you, Katie Anna, for watching this show. I hope to have Emma back. I would love to have other young people come on the show and share their talents with us because how is, how is the world going to know about you if somebody doesn't get out there and tell them? So this show is about you. This show is to let people know the talents are here. So why do you have to be old like me before you get known? You don't. So thank you, Katie Anna, for watching. We air every, of course, now every Monday night at 9 o'clock. You never know who's going to be on here. It might be Emma. It might be you. But if you're interested in people knowing your dreams and you want your dreams to come true, Katie Anna Upper Channel is the place to be because I can tell you, without me even knowing it, my dream came, came true. I always wanted to be a reporter. I always wanted to write for newspapers. I always wanted to be and help other people who needed help that nobody wanted to help. And I've been able to do all of that. So I hope my time on earth is not over yet. <laughs> but I can say that if I would go today, then I know that I'm finished and I've done everything I can do. But every time I try to, try to back out of doing stories here, other great stories come up like you, and I don't want to lose it. I can't find somebody else to do it. So that's why I like doing television. So I want to encourage you today to stay true to your dream and know this is going to be one step toward a much brighter future. And as you can see, the Roman credits and all that bling showing up there, I have a wonderful director who, without him, I wouldn't have a show. I have different people who are not here who's part of this. And I'm really grateful to Katie on Open Channel for letting us do this. So yeah. thank you so much. I hope we get to do another interview in the future. If you have any questions, email me anytime. Also, two people contact the email that's up there. If you have any questions or you want to know what M is up to, and again, verbally, since it's not showing, the email is uh, posy underscore Jennifer yeah. at yahoo.com. Oh, I got it right. So, shoot her a question and anything you want to know where she's at or what she's doing, and I'm sure Mom will get back with them, right? Yeah. Thanks again, and you have fun swimming, and be sure to tell all your friends to watch you on Facebook. Okay. Thank you so much. Thanks. Okay, and I'm waiting for them to tell me. Everything's good. See the emails up there?